بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد i want to thank you um, brothers and sister for attending this this um, uh, seminar on the life of um, a, a very very great significant and powerful man in this country inshallah I want to uh, welcome the people online. Uh, I pray to Allah the Almighty that you can understand us uh, very well, and I hope that we'll learn a lot from this, uh, this seminar. Uh, one of the great difficulties for me in this seminar is what should I leave out? Actually, this is an abbreviated seminar for a longer one that I plan to do for about uh, between 10 and 12 weeks. So there's much on the life of, of Malcolm X uh, Al Haj Malik Shabazz that we want to talk about, and we're just going to really honestly touch the surface in these next uh, six hours. Inshallah, it should be very good. Uh, you should really learn a lot. I hope that everyone have a pad and a pen. You can't, it's impossible to sit here. I know you're great and smart and all of that, but it's impossible to sit here and get all of this that we're going to share with you and not take notes. I think it's to your advantage. Allah blessed me in 1978. I went to Umm Quran and studied, and they will tell you I had, I had books open and taken notes, and, and I still have those notes today from 1978. And, and every once in a while I go back and look at those notes. Very, very, very beneficial. Um, before I tell you even what we're going to try to do in the next two weeks, I'm going to ask uh, what I think is a, it's a critical question. Those online, I want you to answer the question too. Now, you might uh, get it to me maybe later tonight or, 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 or by next week. But I'm going to ask you a question. I'm actually going to begin before I even say a word. I'm going to ask you a question. Why are you here today? Why did you want to study the life of Malcolm X? And by learning from you why you want to study the life of Malcolm X, it's going to help me. It's going to help me. So you can't escape it. So the first one is going to bless us is my good brother here. You're going to tell us your name, and you're going to tell me why did you come here in this area? And don't tell me you live around a corner and, and come here to sacrifice your time, and I assume money, unless you know somebody. Uh, why do you want to take this class? Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Hisham. Yes, I shall. Uh, and basically, uh, I think I wanted to learn, you know, the details of the life of Malcolm X, and like, uh, like you know, what, uh, like, what can I do? You know, what can I learn from him that I can do now? Good, very good, excellent, yeah. very good. Let me say, make my first point. This is going to be the first point, point. Um, and may Allah bless you, Hisham. This is going to be the first point. I don't want you to come to this class just to get a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. So the basis of this class is a hadith of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, is actually a supplication. He said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa'u, O Allah, I seek refuge with you from knowledge that doesn't benefit. I seek refuge with you from knowledge that doesn't benefit. So I don't want you just to say, yes, I studied Malcolm X, and I know where he was born, and I know the city, and he did this, and then in the end of the day, what? So therefore, in the back of my mind, I have something that we will utilize from this class so that this class will not only learn something about Malcolm, but in the end of the day, we will do something, I'm hoping. After we do some analysis, we're going to talk about his history, his life, we're going to do some analysis of it, and then we're going to ask the question, how can the Muslims and other people benefit from what we learn these two weeks about the life of Al Haj Malik Shabazz. What do we, why? What do we learn? And I'm telling you, there's some profound lessons in it. So, Hisham, may Allah bless you. Jazakallah khaira. Name, name, and why? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Harun. 
Yes, sir. Um, I actually do want to know where Malcolm X was born, his history, um, just to find out how, what pushed this young black man to call himself a Muslim and keep calling himself a Muslim regardless of what others said. And that's why I'm here tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Ali, and um, basically, my first uh, reason is what Hisham said to learn from Malcolm X. And uh, because at this point in America, in these days, we are, as Muslims, are going through the same stages of the civil rights. And I want to know how, how firm he stood. I want to know what he went through and what we might expect to go through things that he did and that we can do to basic to get our word out and to be as successful as he was as this is, this is excellent I mean, this is really this is exciting you guys i was already excited to do this class now i'm really excited um so we have heard from ali we heard from harun we heard from hisham now we're gonna hear from a good brother from the marcy projects How's everyone doing? Um, my name is Don. Don, Don P. Don. 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 Yeah, D O N. Oh, Don. Um, basically, Malcolm X was a he is a wild dude. Like when I first watched the movie, compared to when I read parts of the book, I didn't finish the book. But when I read parts of the book, he com the movie's fictitious. Really? The movie's fictitious. Wow. It doesn't really when you read in depth how how. He lived like in squalor almost, like at some point. And to hear it, to see it like that, it took away from this, this goody two shoe look that he had. That, you know, everybody puts to the front because, you know, he was Muslim or whatever the case may be. They, you know, that's the, that's the image. It totally blows your mind when you really see the, the, the strength of this man. And his mentality is ridiculous. Excellent. Yeah. I want to repeat something um, that Don said. He said, he's a wild dude. No, 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 it's okay. It's but you know what the word dude mean in Arabic? What's that? Anybody know the word dude mean in Arabic? Dude means worm, oh. just for the record. But you know, when you started the, the, the movie, I saw the movie, and, um, and you're going to see I have some connection to the life of Malcolm X. Um, and, 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 and basically, it was fairly accurate. Because you'll see the difference, the transition of Malcolm from the early Malcolm in the squalor, as you talked about, but in the end, uh, he, he became a different man. So it was pretty, it's pretty accurate. I, 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 and I'm going to talk about, in the class, about his wife, Dr. Betty Shabazz. We talked about the movie. So she was pretty satisfied with, 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 with the movie. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Saeed. Um, Saeed. 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 Saeed, yes, no. Uh, wow, I'm a little nervous. Um, Malcolm X, uh, there was a Hispanic friend of mine named Pablo who introduced me to Malcolm X when I was a uh, young, young adult. And um, he was into, like, you know, the, not the, the pork, not eating pork and everything like that. And that's my first exposure to him. And I think it was via that and reading the autobiography, watching the movie that Islam started becoming imprinted in me that I started picking up cues of Islam that later on I wound up embracing Islam so yes alhamdulillah and uh, I have I feel like I have a deep connection to him I have documentaries on him I haven't read his autobiography in a while and I wanted to read it before the class to kind of prepare myself but unfortunately time didn't allow it but um, but I, I do love him and I respect him and the part that in the movie that touches me that I've played over and over is that part when he's sh bathing and uh, and uh, God, his name escapes me now, but the brother comes in and starts trying to tell him about the nation of Islam. And, and after that, he starts making a transformation. That part is very deep because I feel like I can connect, I connect to that. So, so I'm looking to come out of this, you know, learning a lot more, inshallah. Man, a, you know what? I, 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 I don't even want to do the class now. I want to listen to you guys, man. You guys are so powerful. Sister, we're going to hear from a sister now. The question is, sister, is um, why, did, why did I come here to this? Why did I want to study about Malcolm X, El Haj Malik Shabazz, My Malcolm Little, Omar Wali, El Haj Malik El Shabazz. These are all the names. Who do I say? Malcolm Little, Malcolm X, 
Omawali. He got the name from Nigeria. We'll talk about that. El Haj Malik Shabazz. Why? Uh, well, I remember learning about Malcolm X um, when I was in grade school and hearing him as part of the Heroes of Black History Month. And I know he took a struggling community and he gave it strength. But I want to know um, more details about that. What was this community like? And do we have any parallels between the community he dealt with and how he gave them strength and our community right now and our weaknesses? Are they similar? Assalamu okay. alaikum. I'm also very interested. I remember in 11th grade, I did a presentation on Malcolm X to my high school history class, and I really admire him. I find it amazing how he had a transformation in the jail, and like I think he's a wonderful role model for the youth. All right, I know some people that didn't get done. I'll get, I'll get you later, but I want to kind of get started. Check out the, um, your bibliography sheet. It's a bibliography. Now, um, this class, let me first give you my credentials. I've read probably 75 to 100 books about Malcolm. And, um, but that's not my credential. Uh, I've read the books, but I won't be speaking from the books. I, I refer to some of the books sometimes. But um, you will find out that I have a personal experience. And let me tell you my personal experience before I, I, I go over some of these books. Um, I remember I was in Scotland. Uh, this has to be uh, 10, 12 years ago and the United Kingdom, and I went there to give a lecture on Malcolm X. And as the brothers picked me up from the airport, we're driving, and I'm looking at all these huge post posters, Malcolm X, and, and then it says uh, Imam in big, in big bold letters, Imam Suraj, the best friend of Malcolm. Now, let me tell you what I did when I saw that. I started laughing. Man, I had never laughed so hard in my life. I was, I was crying. It was so funny. I was laughing. Oh my God. But I said, why are you laughing? I said, brother, I was 14 years old when Malcolm was assassinated. I was not his best friend. I never met him. But I have a connection with him, and I'll tell you what that connection is. It's a lot. My connection with him is a lot. A few things. Somebody asked a question. They want to know. When, when did Malcolm begin? Where did he begin? He began 19. Uh, do we, we need this up here? We have to have this? He was born in 1925, Omaha, Nebraska. Well, they summed to 1925, Omaha, Nebraska. And he um, spent um, a small amount of time in Omaha. His parents moved several places. They moved to Milwaukee. Um, they moved to Lansing, Michigan. Malcolm went to, to Boston. He went to New York. He went to Detroit, things like that. Somewhere along the line, Malcolm joins the Nation of Islam. We're going to talk about that in details later. Then Malcolm gets married to a woman named Betty. Betty Sanders. What are we talking about right now? We talk, I'm, just not, I'm just not giving you names and information. I'm going somewhere. What's, what's on the issue right now? The credentials of Imam Siraj Wahaj. What credentials does he have for teaching this class? Uh, some years ago, maybe around that time, I was asked to give a lecture at Medgar Evers College in Brooklyn. Now I want some water. I'm sorry. I'm going to have you guys work. See, I don't have these guys work. I do that on purpose, by the way. And when they bring the water, I'm going to get something else. Watch. It's between us, right? Thank you. Uh, I need some juice now. <laughs> now, I gave a lecture at Medgar Evers College, right? And, 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 and uh, when I was finished the lecture, this Muslim woman comes up to me. And she says, oh, man, that was a great lecture. 
And I've been hoping that Muslims would come here for a long time. We never had a Muslim. I'm, I'm glad we have a Muslim. And she said, I really enjoyed the lecture. And then she said, um, do you have time to come into my office? I said, sure. She said, OK, uh, you know, give, meet me in my office in five minutes. I said, well, what, where is your office? She's on the second floor. I said, but, but where? And she said, well, you know, it has, it has the name Shabazz on the door. And when she said that, I said, I think that's Betty Shabazz, the widow of Malcolm. And sure enough, Dr. Betty Shabazz worked at Mega Epis College. She didn't know me, Imam Saraj Wahaj. I was just that guy, that Muslim man, giving a lecture at Mega Evers College. So she invited me to her office. Long story short, we sat down that day and spoke for four hours. And the only reason that it wasn't more, I said to her, Dr. Shabazz, I have to go. I think I will still be there today. And she taught me so much. She's a teacher. She taught me so much about her husband. Some of that I'll share with in, in, the, in the class, inshallah. Nineteen forty-six to nineteen fifty-two. And there's other things that happen here. I'm going to go over. Malcolm goes to prison. And we're going to talk about the details of that. But I just want to put that there that he goes to prison. Actually, he was sentenced to twelve years in prison for burglary um, in in um, Boston, Massachusetts area. And um, and during his uh, his stay in prison, he converted to the Nation of Islam. And he becomes a black Muslim. More about that later. He becomes a black Muslim. He joins the Nation of Islam. In 1969, A person named Jeffrey Cairns. You don't have to worry about the spelling. K-E-A-R-S-E. -E. A student at New York University joins the Nation of Islam. And he becomes Jeffrey 12x. Malcolm joins the Nation of Islam and becomes Malcolm X. Malcolm joins the Nation of Islam in prison. He comes out in 1952. He becomes Malcolm X. Jeffrey Kears, a student at New York University in 1969 joins the Nation of Islam, and he becomes Jeffrey 12X. Who is Jeffrey 12X? Not you, Musa. You look too anxious. <laughs> Who's Jeffrey 12X? <laughs> Ali said me. Yes. Why Malcolm X? The first Malcolm to join the nation, Malcolm X. The second Malcolm, Malcolm 2X. The third Malcolm, Malcolm 3X. The fourth Malcolm, Malcolm 4X. Jeffrey was the 12th Jeffrey. I know Jeffrey 11X. I know Jeffrey 13X, 13, Jeffrey 14X, so forth and so on. And to give an idea how many African Americans were joined in the nation of Islam, I knew somebody named James 252x. That's big. That's big. So you know that is that is that is growing. So so similar similarly as Malcolm joined the nation of Islam, so did I. What's my credential? My credential is I've known his wife ever since. We we meet all the time. We had talks. She since died, by the way. And we, we're gonna talk about that later on. We talked all the time, we talked many times, and I learned many things about her. Now, 
It is impossible to talk about Malcolm X unless you also talk about the history of African Americans. Can't do it, it's impossible. Because you will see the context of Malcolm becoming a Muslim, so-called black Muslim, is as a result of what's going on in the country. Jeffrey 12X joins the Nation of Islam as a result of what's going on in the country. Now, Malcolm X ultimately became what name? Jeffrey 12X ultimately becomes? Siraj Wahad. 